Regardless of what Americans on the left or the right may think about the debt ceiling agreement that President Biden and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, Republican California, reach over the Memorial Day weekend, there can be no serious debate about the fact that the deal provides a good sense of what is on and off the table when it comes to budget priorities. Mumbari Makana Rang Lapar. Yes, that is being considered. Quechua Partai Democrat Dan Republican Meni Tujui Rinkana Yang Membatasi Axis K Program Nutrisi. Ini Dilakakan Meskiplan Food Research and Action Center Menyatakan Bahu the expansion of cruel, harsh, and arbitrary time limits on the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, SNAP, for older unemployed and underemployed adults struggling in the labor market will only deepen hunger and poverty. Balanced budgets by the poor and working class people instead of the wealthy? Yes, that is being considered. Biden Dan McCarthy said a Judangan Hanya strategy separate e to, but can say to Quechua Partai Progressive Caucus Pramila Jayapal, Democrat Washington, Mengingatkan Bahoa and Quat, saying to poor people and people who are in need that we don in number 39, T trust them and Quat, Adala and Quat, terrible policy dot and Quat, Salen e to, Marika Mankapai Kesepakad and Untuk Mengarangi $1.4 billion Yang Bertuju and Untuk Memban to IRS Mangajar Para Kaya Yang Menapu Tax Cheats Dan Boss Parasahan. Mangor Bankan Perlindam in Linkungan Dan Masa Dapan Bumi? Sangat Masuka Call, Menu Root Center for Biological Diversity, Setiap Rinkana Yang expedites the climate killing Mountain Valley Pipeline, dramatically rolls back the National Environmental Policy Act and freezes non-defense spending for agencies including the Environmental Protection Agency and the Interior Department in exchange for a modest raise of the debt ceiling Mamiliki Consequency Yang Significant. Namun, Hal Itu Tidak Mengentakan Siarang President Democrat Dan Siarang Jurubakara Pertai Republic Untuk Sekara Tidak Bertengang Jawab Mengarangi Dukungan Untuk Inisiatif Linkungan Dot Jadi Apo Artinia Menargic and Pimerikson Yang Louis Untuk Sabah Complex Military Industry Yang Begichu Lubu Singa Tidak Mampu Mangan Troll Sampa, Penapuan, Dan Palangran Yang Ter JDD Pentagon, Bilam Lagi Kian Tungan Basar Dari Contractor Pertanen? No, no, no. It is certainly not on the table to take concrete measures to address the excessive expenditure of the Department of Defense. BBC and Number 39 S headline, caps on spending, but not defense, was appropriately succinct in summarizing the compromise struck by Biden and McCarthy, although U.S. media outlets tended to talk about this aspect of the deal. Defense spending would increase to $886 billion, which amounts to a 3% rise on this year, explained the BBC, while the agreement maintains non-defense spending flat, next year, with a 1% rise in 2025. Naturally, conservatives, including Senator Lindsey Graham from South Carolina, want even larger Pentagon expenditures. Namun, Mary Katidak Perluka Water. The top line of defense spending is expected to rise to $895 billion by the fiscal year 2025, according to Defense News. This figure is in line with Pentagon Comptroller Mike McCord's prediction that it is likely to surpass the $1 trillion line by the end of the decade. Is all this expenditure at Pentagon necessary? Dangankata Lane, Tidak. Public Citizen President Robert Weissman Menyatakin, and Quat, the United States is rushing toward a trillion-dollar Pentagon budget that enriches military contractors but entrenches massive fraud and waste, leaves the nation less secure and pulls money away from priority human needs. And quat. Consumer advocate and former presidential candidate Ralph Nader explains that the Biden MC Carthy agreement accelerates a skewed approach to budgeting that tips the balance against domestic programs. Nader Menyatakan Bahwa Dengan Mengakui Bahwa Labi Dari Separa Dari Federal Operating Budget Akan Menjadi Untouchable. Saboa Ruma Push Democrat leaves the GOP getting their cuts from necessary domestic programs like education, health, environment, and worker safety. Jumla Basar Pengarangan di Dalam Negri Tidak Akan Diper Lukan Bukan Dengan Pengarangan Kessel Untuk Pengaluaran Pertanen. U.S. Representative Barbara Lee, Democrat California, 
argued earlier this year in a modest reduction in Pentagon allocations, saying, cutting just $100 billion could do so much good, it could power every household in the U.S. with solar energy, hire one million elementary school teachers amid a worsening teacher shortage, provide free tuition for two out of three public college students, or cover medical care for seven million veterans. Menu root pokan, and quat, pangalu aran labi banyakuntak per tanan tidak menjamin kimanan, hatapi itu menjamin bahwa complex military industry akin teras menjadi labi kaya dot and quat, kami tidak dapat lagi mele takin kepan tingan perusahan di adis kabuchuhan riat America. Sanya untuk berinvestasi dalam communitas kita dan melakakan perubahan yang si regardless of what Americans on the left or the right may think about the debt ceiling agreement that President Biden and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, Republican California, reach over the Memorial Day weekend, there can be no serious debate about the fact that the deal provides a good sense of what is on and off the table when it comes to budget priorities. Feed the hungry? Yes that is being considered. The Democratic and Republican chairman agreed on a plan that limited access to nutrition programs. This was done even though the Food Research and Action Center stated that the expansion of cruel, harsh, and arbitrary time limits on the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program SNAP, for older unemployed and underemployed adults struggling in the labor market will only deepen hunger and poverty. Balanced budgets by the poor and working class people instead of the wealthy? Yes, that is being considered. Biden and McCarthy agreed with only such a strategy, even after Progressive Caucus Party Chair Pramila Jayapal, Democrat Washington, reminded that saying to poor people and people who are in need that we don't trust them is the terrible policy. In addition, they reached an agreement to deduct $1.4 billion aimed at helping the IRS catch tax cheaters and corporate bosses. Sacrificing environmental protection and the future of the earth. It makes perfect sense, according to the Center for Biological Diversity, that any plan that expedites the climate-killing Mountain Valley Pipeline, dramatically rolls back the National Environmental Policy Act and freezes non-defense spending for agencies including the Environmental Protection Agency and the Interior Department in exchange for a modest raise of the debt ceiling has significant consequences. But that hasn't stopped a Democratic president and a Republican spokesperson from irresponsibly curtailing support for environmental initiatives. So what does it mean to target a broad overhaul for a military-industrial complex so innocent it can't control waste, fraud, and the breaches that occurred at the Pentagon, not to mention the huge profits from defense contractors? No, no, no. It is certainly not on the table to take concrete measures to address the excessive expenditure of the Department of Defense. The BBC's headline, Caps on Spending, But Not Defense, was appropriately succinct in summarizing the compromise struck by Biden and McCarthy although U.S. media outlets tended to talk about this aspect of the deal. Defense spending would increase to $886 billion, which amounts to a 3% rise on this year, explained the BBC, while the agreement maintains non-defense spending flat next year, with a 1% rise in 2025. Naturally, conservatives, including Senator Lindsey Graham from South Carolina, want even larger Pentagon expenditures. However, they need not worry. The top line of defense spending is expected to rise to $895 billion by the fiscal year 2025, according to Defense News. This figure is in line with Pentagon Comptroller Mike McCord's prediction that it is likely to surpass the $1 trillion line by the end of the decade. Is all this expenditure at the Pentagon necessary? In other words, no. Public Citizen President Robert Weissman stated, the United States is rushing toward a trillion-dollar Pentagon budget that enriches military contractors but entrenches massive fraud and waste, leaves the nation less secure, and pulls money away from priority human needs. Consumer advocate and former presidential candidate Ralph Nader explains that the biden mc Carthy agreement accelerates a skewed approach to budgeting that tips the balance against domestic programs. Nader stated that by recognizing that more than half of the federal operating budget would be untouchable, 
a White House of Democrats leaves the GOP getting their cuts from necessary domestic programs like education, health, environment, and worker safety. Large amounts of reductions at home would not be necessary even with small reductions in defense spending. U.S. Representative Barbara Lee, Democrat California, argued earlier this year in a modest reduction in Pentagon allocations, saying, cutting just $100 billion could do so much good, it could power every household in the U.S. with solar energy, hire one million elementary school teachers amid a worsening teacher shortage, provide free tuition for two out of three public college students, or cover medical care for seven million veterans. According to Pocan, spending more on defense doesn't guarantee security, but it does guarantee that the military-industrial complex will continue to get richer. We can no longer put corporate interests ahead of the needs of the American people. It's time to invest in our community and make real changes.